Okay, so um, in this video, I, I kind of want to make an introduction to um, isopsophy and specifically how it relates to uh, Katamarkon Evangelion, the Gospel according to Mark. Um, now, really, uh, the 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 best place to to kind of get um, a basic understanding of isopsophy is just Wikipedia. Um, you know, um, there's plenty of, uh, contemporary examples, um, Christian and non-Christian, um, you can go in there and you can find, um, at, for example, uh, Pompeii, um, the, the city that was, um, preserved in the volcanic ash, um, they found <laughs> graffiti, uh, guys writing things like I love her whose number is 545 um, stuff like that um, so clearly it was a, a widely known practice um, you know even, even down to the person who's writing graffiti on the wall even he knew about it so uh, it's definitely not that far fetched to say that uh, Mark knew about it um the author of Mark. Um, and also, you know, a, a famous example would be Revelation 13, 18. Um, the number of the beast is 666. Um, That's another clear reference to isopsophy, and actually, um, in that verse where he says, um, the one who has understanding, let him count the number of the beast, the Greek word that's translated as let him count is actually sephisato, which is et etymologically related to isopsophy, it has the same root. So... Um, there's definitely a lot of evidence that it was a widespread practice that, you know, was certainly known to a lot of writers and scholars of that period. Of that period. But, um, in this video I want to get a, a little deeper into that and, um, specifically how, how Mark add another layer of, um, layer of, of information, um, into into his gospel into into his story um so um one of my favorite examples is the uh the wilderness uh symposium where um jesus uh divides the the five loaves and the two fishes and feeds uh five thousand men now um in chapter eight of mark's gospel um i think it begins around um uh, verse 18 there there is a, a part where um, Jesus um, and his disciples are discussing the the loaves and the fishes and um, and here uh, Mark gives us a a long string of uh, numbers um, and talking about um, the the number of loaves um, that were distributed, and um, then the disciples go and collect um, a number of baskets, um, and it even talks about how many uh, fragments of bread were left over. Um, so basically, um, he, he gives us a long string of uh, about six numbers. Um, and to me, that that kind of makes me wonder, um, you know, what what is what is the significance of that? I mean, did did Mark really think it was so important to um, enumerate the exact number of loaves and baskets and leftover uh, fragments of bread and crumbs, um, or is he hinting at something else here? And I think that that's kind of where it ties into isopsophy. And um, definitely at um, at the end of that little passage, um, Mark kind of concludes it with uh, with Jesus saying, 
how is it that you still don't understand? And that I feel like that's it. that's almost the author talking to the reader and was kind of poking fun at the reader and saying, like, do you, do you really not understand what I'm saying here? Um, so, so I think that that definitely hints at, at, um, at kind of kind of another level of of understanding that um, that there is in that gospel and um, and um, you know to to kind of put that in a wider perspective, um, you know we we know that that uh, you know Christianity and the gospels. Um, is is basically um, a continuation of the Jewish religion and the Old Testament, but then it sort of has this fusion with the Greek culture um, and you know everything that the, at, that the Greeks were interested in, and y y of course I'm you know I'm sure you know that the New Testament was written in Greek, whereas the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. So um, you kind of have a, a, a blending of these two cultures there, and um, there, the one thing that the Greeks were definitely interested in was number puzzles um, and and things like that. And um, like I mentioned in the beginning, you know, this was widely known. Um, it was known all the way down to the graffiti artists at Pompeii. Um, but beyond that, um, you know, you have. Uh, Pythagoras, the Pythagorean theorem. Um, the Greeks were extremely interested in mathematics, numbers, geometry, or riddles, things like that. Um, and so I, I think that kind of that kind of definitely shows up in in the New Testament. Um, and you know the the six 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 example in Revelation is pretty much indisputable. I mean, you can go on Wikipedia and, you know, the academic consensus is that it is isopsophy. Um, you know, they might tell you that it refers to Nero or something. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, in any case, I don't think that 666 is the only instance of isopsophy in the New Testament. I think that there is a lot more... Um, and the you know the loaves and fishes is just one example um so uh that's kind of it um you know maybe maybe i'll make some some further videos and um you know provide some more examples and um i don't know may, maybe we can figure out what the solution to that riddle is um but yeah um that's it for now um so anyway thanks for watching uh take care bye